Welcome to our review on the uses of ultrasound. So first thing we need to understand is a little bit about our ultrasound waves. Now our ultrasound waves have a high frequency and a short wavelength. Those are two properties we really need to remember about them because those actually give it the ability to travel inside the body. Now what we tend to use ultrasound for, which is probably how we've heard of them in the past, is to actually scan the body and check the development of babies while they're still inside the mother. The way in which these ultrasound scans work is we start off with a transmitter which beams the ultrasound waves into the body. Once those waves then hit something inside, then they reflect back. And depending on when those waves return, and that's determined by how deep the layer is, then we get different times. And those times are then processed by a computer to build a picture on the screen of the baby itself. So we've got a couple of reasons why we'd use ultrasound scans over x-rays when looking inside the body. First one is that ultrasound scans will not damage living cells, whereas x-rays do have that potential. Secondly, and perhaps more importantly for those expectant mothers, is that our ultrasound scans will show soft tissue, whereas the x-rays don't show soft tissue clearly. Now you can imagine how it is if you're an expectant mother for the first time, maybe not the brightest penny in the pack, and you are all of a sudden presented with an x-ray image of your developing baby. It doesn't show the soft tissue clearly, so you're looking at a little skeleton growing inside you. Now there's bound to be someone in the world somewhere that thinks that they will have just a skeleton developing inside them. Whereas using an ultrasound, we can actually see the soft tissue and these days with things like our 3D ultrasounds, you can see the exact facial structure of your baby before it's born. A second use for our ultrasound then is to break up kidney stones. So kidney stones are these deposits that build up inside the kidneys and very, very painful. So we don't want to have to cut people open to remove them because obviously any form of surgery, any kind of incision we make in the body has a risk of infection. So if we can use our ultrasound, we can actually break up these kidney stones without any need for surgery at all. So the way that the ultrasound actually works here is it makes the stones vibrate a very high frequency and therefore it breaks up. The smaller particles can then be passed with minimal pain. The third way we can use our ultrasound then is to actually measure the speed of blood flow in the body. Now you're likely to get a question asking you about another use of ultrasound in the body. This is where you've got to be very, very careful not to throw away an easy mark. If in the question it says other than body scans, then you can't obviously use body scans as an example. And that includes scanning developing babies or fetal sound scans, anything like this. You can't use that because it's all scanning the body. So if in the question they've mentioned body scans in any way, shape or form, and they're asking for another example, you can pick from either breaking up kidney stones or measuring the speed of blood flow in the body.